Good morning, everybody. Today is a good, exciting day. I'm headed into Winnipeg. We're gonna go on TV today. So I'm just getting everything ready here really quick. Uh, we got an interview, well, an interview, they're doing a story on me on one of the television stations in Winnipeg. And we're filming this morning at 10 a.m. in two hours. So I better not waste any time, I don't wanna be late. I've somehow gotta get my truck downtown Winnipeg and I don't know where I'm gonna park it. I gotta get a hold of them yet and be like, what? So, we'll figure this out. Should be exciting. Got myself a new poppy today. Gotta make sure I represent the troops when I go on TV. I'm not a troop myself, so I can't claim that I am. But I am remembering them, that's what I should say. Gotta remember the troops, I'm gonna be on TV. I also have one here, see? That one's on my visor all year round. This one's gonna stay on there too, so now I'll have two poppies on my visor all year round. Do you got your poppy already? I got my poppy. I got it at Tim Hortons. If you're wondering where to get them, Tim Hortons. Okay, so we're just pulling into the uh, Furmore commercial lot here by Pizza Hut and whatnot. This is where we're gonna be meeting them. They're supposed to be coming out here. They wanted me to come downtown, but I requested that we meet a little further outside downtown because there's nowhere to park this truck downtown. We're just gonna sneak in here. They're supposed to be here in about 20 minutes, so I've got some time. They told me they want to do the, 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 the interview or whatever from inside my truck, and I'm like, oh no, I gotta clean. Okay, we've gotta clean. We've got a few dog hairs to pick up. Good thing I got some Febreze. They're still gonna think it smells like a like a doghouse in here. Oh, well, what is it? What, what can I say? It's a it's a rolling doghouse. What do you expect? <laughs> so I'll just have to warn them. Ah, uh, <laughs> might smell a little interesting, but I'm used to it. So now nah, I'm just kidding. We'll fix it. We'll get it going. I'm gonna park like way out here out in the open. Freak out this van a little bit because he doesn't know what I'm doing. Park right here facing the pizza hut. I better get to work and clean this thing up. This thing's gonna be on TV. Everyone's gonna see how messy I am. And again, I am on YouTube. Everyone already knows how messy I am. But now even more people are gonna know. Oh dear. I'm gonna do something about this. We got our vacuum cleaner right here. Oh, we gotta take that out. Oh dear, oh dear. Dog hair over there. Dog hair over there. Wires everywhere. Dust on the dashboard. Oh my, oh my. I'm here with the local news crew from Winnipeg Hi. here. All in my drive. Look at these cameras. Look at this camera. I gotta get one of these. That is incredible. How much do you think that camera costs? You guys don't have to answer that. <laughs> One of these days, so this is our awesome camera guy. Shooting a feature on you. On me, for local TV. Hello. I'm gonna be on TV. So we're all here packed into my little truck. And uh, yeah, it's been very exciting to, talking about what I do uh, as a YouTuber, as I do as a truck driver, and how I sort of combine the two. So I, I've gotta get myself one of those cameras. When I talk about the cameras that I want in my vlog, this is That's a one good one though. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, this is one of the best. This is actually the most popular vlogging camera. Uh, you guys know already that I use a Canon G7X. Uh, it's the most popular among vloggers. Uh, it's the newest camera from Canon and uh, it works really well for me. But I mean that would work a lot better. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, this, is, this is the big one. This is the perfect camera to, that captures everything. It's hard to do it selfie style though. You know, I don't know if I can yeah. film myself. It's stable to keep it. And this is what I'm more used to. I'm used to having just holding the camera myself. I'm, I'm more nervous when other people are holding the camera because then I want to look at it and like, how's the shot working out? How's the okay, shot working okay. out? So like this, I can see what's in there. And, and sure you're always able to hold it very stable? Uh, for the most part. Uh, I'm not always the best at that, but there's some, these new cameras come with great uh, stability options. It'll okay. fix that all for me. So Josh, explain exactly what is it that you do? It's a it's a daily thing. It's sort of part of my life already. I'll wake up in the morning. I'll pick up the camera. I'll be like, hey guys, it's another new day. I, I'll roll my little intro in my vlog, and then we'll start off 
with the day, wherever I am right now. I like telling people where I am today to give everybody an idea. Sometimes I'll put a little map in front of the vlog as well, just so that they can see where I'm at and get an, like an idea in their head of where I'm at. Uh, and then as the day goes on, you know, as I roll out starting my day, I do a lot of road footage to show people the scenery. Uh, whatever I find interesting throughout the day really is what I stick the camera at. <laughs> and how does this process work? You're using this camera right here, then it goes on YouTube, but what's next? Uh, from here I put it onto my computer uh, at the end of my day. I'll get all the files onto the computer and if I have time after my day I'll edit it up. I have a template that I start off with, uh, which if I didn't have that template it would take about an hour longer every day. <laughs> but uh, I start off with the template and I'll throw all the footage on there and then I'll sort of go through it bit by bit. Uh, cutting it all, cutting out what I don't want, leaving in what I do want, and sort of adding my personality to it. And once it's done, I render it. Uh, that takes about, well, I'd say about two hours altogether with the editing and rendering. And then from there, I upload it onto YouTube. Now you mentioned you become alive behind this camera screen. Tell me what that's all about. <laughs> well, a lot of you who have met me uh, have realized that in real life, I'm more of a quiet, laid-back person. And online, sometimes I come off as a... Uh, more of an outgoing loud person who just gets excited at everything and sure that that's real I don't fake that but uh, when I when you put a camera in front of me it's sort of I don't know I sort of come to life sort of like a, a different light comes on almost and uh, I guess I just like to perform maybe <laughs> keeping it as real as possible I don't like my vlogs to be fake but I I put my best foot forward I guess you would say all right, so we're gonna get a few road shots or a few driving shots here anyways with the camera guy here. I was just telling him, I need a camera guy like that following me around everywhere. That'd make it a lot better. <laughs> so I'm gonna start the truck. So let's see if this baby will come to life. She never disappoints. All right. So it is an automatic truck. Uh, there is no gear shifter, you may have noticed. Uh, but I've sort of, sort of grown on me. I sort of like it now. And that was that. I'm gonna be on TV. Don't worry, I'm gonna shoot out the link to all of you guys so all of you guys will be able to watch it wherever you are in the world. So if you guys just wanna wait for that, um, pay attention to my Facebook or Twitter and I will send that link out a couple of times throughout that day because I know I'll be super excited about it all day so you'll hear about it like more than once. So the interview is over, the story we're done filming. Uh, I had to run to my bank real quick to grab a bank draft for my repairs. I gotta pay my shop for those, uh, for the safety that we did last month. Giddy, I love giving away my money. I love it, it's so fun, it's my favorite. But we're going to uh, Cabela's right now. Since we're in the city right now, I figured run over to Cabela's. I wanna ask them a few questions about getting my uh, PAL, my possession and acquisition license. I wanna know where and when I can take the course and I wanna do it now. 
I want to be able to legally purchase me some firearms. Even Cabela's has these roundabouts. What are you doing to me here? What are you doing? Cabela's. I love coming here. I've only been here like once. I love coming here. The whole one time I've been here. I love it. All right, we're gonna go park over here if that's okay with everybody. Any objections? That's what I thought. Sit down, I'm parking where I wanna park. Be polite and respectful being in a big truck. I'm gonna go park in the back here. Or I'm out of the way. We're gonna go inside and we're gonna go look at some gear. See what they got. Here we go. Aren't you excited? I'm excited. guys I got a new winter parka I needed a new winter parka anyways I went in there for orange and I came out with camel what can you do so this is a four-in-one jacket it's a spring jacket a winter jacket a heavy jacket a light jacket it's everything in one so it's like one jacket for the entire year which is nice uh, it's got this uh, French stuff here. I don't know what that. There's the English. Guaranteed to keep you dry. Gore-Tex. Okay, it's like waterproof. They actually, it's not even water resistant. They say it's waterproof. So living in Canada, you always have to have a warm jacket. And I honestly, I didn't even have a jacket for this year. Uh, my winter jacket last year wrecked. Uh, the zipper doesn't zip up anymore, and I've had that jacket since I was in high school. So I haven't had a new jacket probably in about ten years. So it's probably about time for a new winter jacket. And this way, I have a year-round jacket and it matches my hat doesn't help with my situation about going into the woods though I still got to stay out of the woods especially with that I gotta get some orange sooner or later but hey I only want to spend so much in one day whatever I needed a jacket more than I needed a bright orange shirt bright orange shirts only for having fun wandering into the bush this is actually useful for keeping me warm and alive it helps if I stay alive that's I find that it's much better when I'm breathing Sergeant! Sergeant! What are you guys doing, man? What are you guys doing? Good boys. So I got the step ladder out. I moved the modem up there so it's a little bit higher. I'll just have to get those little rings that you can sort of knock into the wall to sort of pin it against the side here. I want to put it right, right along the side there like that. It's a flat cord, right? So I want to pin it right along the side there so it goes down there all nice and neat eventually, but got that up there right now. For now, John's trophy, that's his trophy for a burnout competition. Uh, it's awesome, actually. That's holding the wire up there right now. Um, but eventually I wanna tack it in there all nice. I'm slowly working at getting this house all organized. It should be organized within the next couple of years. Confident of that. I believe in myself. I can do it. Don't tell me I can't do it, I'll show you I will. Give me a couple of years, this house will be cleaned up. You'll be able to eat off these floors. Just give me a couple of years. Maybe a couple more extra years for the eating part, you know, but I'll get it done. What you see out there, man? What you see out there? there there's people moving, man. There's people, real people. They're moving. What are you talking about, man? There's people out there? What's up? I don't hear them, man. I don't, I don't believe them, man. There's no people out there. There's people, I promise. Look at them. Look at him, man. Are you just staring at my moose bumper? Well, that too, yes. It's very nice. But there's people out there, man. You hear them? 
Who's there, Diesel? Ooh. <laughs> Apparently, there is actually somebody there. On guard, man. I got this. I got this place, man. I got the fort held down, man. I got this. Who's there, guys? Who's there? Oh, right, there's somebody there for real this time, man. There's somebody there. There's somebody there, man. It's for real. <laughs> it's just my neighbor. Diesel, it's just a neighbor. They're allowed to be there. It's okay. It's okay, Diesel. <laughs> it's okay, Diesel. It's okay. Well, at least I know they'll do their job if needed, right? It's just my neighbor was walking across my yard and just taking a shortcut and walking across the yard, right? It's fine. But uh, <laughs> it is not okay with them. It is not okay with them. It's okay with me, though. Good thing I own the house. I make the rules. Where'd they go, man? Where'd they go? I'm looking, man. I'm looking. I got this. I got this place, man. Thank you for protecting me, Diesel. Thank you. What would you do without me, man? What would you do? There was people on your yard, man. They were on the yard, man. Not even joking. On the yard. Did you see him, Sarge? Did you see him? I saw him, man. I saw him. Diesel's just a lot more concerned. He takes his job very seriously. He's that guy at work that takes his job too serious, you know? Everyone has one of those people at work. Take their job way too seriously. Diesel, are you that guy? <laughs> Diesel, are you that guy? <whistles> Come here. I can't go right now. I can't right now, man. I'm kind of busy right now. Kind of busy right now. So I want to show you this new jacket that I got from Cabela's today. I'm pretty excited about it. I've always wanted one like it, and I needed it. So I got it. All right, first of all, first up, modeling my Trucker Jaw shirt. You can get them at the Trucker Jaw store down below in the description. Trucker Jaw. That's not what I wanted to show you, though. Uh, where's my jacket? Guys, where's my jacket? Okay. So this is my new uh, polo zone here. It's a two-piece jacket. Guys, stop. Stop. Sit. Sit and be quiet, children. Sit. Sit. How can you be quiet, man? How can you be so calm at a time like this? Okay, sit down, guys. Seriously. Had to get all daddy on them there. Fatherish. Okay, so, uh, <clears throat> this is the first coat. It's like a spring coat, sort of or a, a light winter coat. Uh, it'd still be a little bit warm for places like Florida and Georgia, but for places like Kansas and, you know, places that get cold, but not too cold. They think they get cold, but they don't get cold. This would be a great, great fit. So, you know, zip it up. Come standard with a zipper. And now look at this, you can't see me. All you see is a head floating around, right? Don't be alarmed, it's okay. I'm still here. See, here I am. Here I am. Okay, so what we could do, you could either wear it like that. Sergeant, I'm filming. Lay down. You gotta stay, you gotta wait till I'm done, man. Don't make me get out the belt. Tell you what, the belt. How many of you got that thread as a kid? <laughs> Can't do that nowadays because everyone's too much of a wuss. Anyways, mm. didn't say that on live camera, did I? <laughs> Burps are optional. Okay, so if you want to use this this thing, it's sort of like a windbreaker. I like this a lot better for springtime. A little bit thinner. What you can do is still, you can still zip this up. I can figure out how to work a zipper. One second. How do you work a zipper? Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello? How do you work the zipper? Why is it so hard to zip this thing up? I must be doing it wrong. Great, now it's stuck. I'm never any good at these things. Okay. Okay, so I gotta put it into there. <clears throat> Take two. So you can just zip it up like this.
standard with a zipper. You got buttons, you can flip this over so that the zipper doesn't give you away, you know? It might give you away. Now, camouflage. Now, there's a zipper. Now, I'm camouflage. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? You button those all up. And then it's a bit of a lighter jacket. Has a little hood on the back. And there you go. See what I mean? Maybe I should have cleaned up the background first. Oh well. What can I say? I am not ashamed. Okay, so say it's winter time. It's cold. You're in Manitoba. Why are you here in winter time? I was born here. What's your excuse? So since I was born here, I gotta put up with the cold. I can't go any further south. I already live as far south as I can. I mean, I could go maybe like a half hour further south and be right at the American border. But you know, I don't want to look too weak. I don't want to look like too much of a wuss. I can, I can handle it about an hour in, you know? So you put on this first, right? And you're sitting there, okay, winter time is a little bit too cold. I need a little bit of an extra layer. Cabela's thought of you. You know, Cabela should be sponsoring me for this. I always do this free advertising for people. I have to think of it later. Hmm, oh, it's free advertising. Anyways, okay, so now you put on this, right? That was the jacket I had on before. And it all clips together on the sleeves and on the back there. Most of you know how these jackets work. Now I'm gonna try to zip this thing up again. What? Oh, come on, it worked so nicely before. Okay. I was doing it wrong. Then. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Okay, and there we go. See? <clears throat> now, you got the windbreaker. This thing's fully waterproof. Uh, it's the right size so that my wrists aren't showing. It gets really, really cold, like it does in Manitoba. You put that up. You're like, huh, Josh, what about your head, though? What about your head? Comes with full face, and face enclosure. I know, right? Where am I? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, I can't see him. Where'd it go? I'm right here, you see? You gotta look closely, but you can see me. If you look closely. And you see how this works. It covers your entire face except for your eyes. And you're not ready to board any Canadian flight if you want. It should work out pretty good. I'll have gloves on. Eventually I'm going to get matching uh, snow pants. And I'll be all set. And that was my day. It was interesting. I got a film with the TV crew, with the news crew there. You got to make a story. It's going to be on, they, they said this Friday. But they emailed me later, they said it's probably gonna be early next week, so Monday, Tuesday, whatever. I'll, I'll shoot the links to you in my social media. Don't worry, go down below to the description, find my Facebook and Twitter, follow me on one of those, or both of them if you're daring, and you will find the links there when they get released. I'm, I'm very interested, because usually I do all the editing, right? Now we got someone else doing the editing. Maybe they have a different style. What are they gonna do? Maybe they'll make me look silly. Maybe they'll make me look good. Maybe they make me look so good I want to hire them to do all my editing. Hey, how about that? So I'll see you tomorrow, anytime after 4 a.m. Don't forget down below in the description. Not just my social media, but a whole pile of other links are down there for you to check out if you want to. I'll see you tomorrow, 4 a.m. Central Time.